This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is giving away a free two-month unlimited access trial to you guys. Click the link in the description below to sign up. Welcome to Sec IRL, my name is Donna. So when I first started on YouTube, I was in this small group of small YouTubers. I think it was on Facebook or either Google Plus, one of those two. And there's always two groups of people. One who felt like quantity was the best way to grow your channel, and the other who felt like quality was the best way to grow your channel. And today, you know what? I felt like settling that debate. And not just through personal experience like most people have, but through data. I looked at over 100 channels, entered their data on an Excel sheet, just to see if quantity or quality is the best way to grow your channel. First, we need to define quantity versus quality. Quantity is the frequency at which someone uploads. The quantity strategy is simply, if you upload more, you are more likely to grow. Quantity is best seen in daily vloggers and corporations that upload multiple videos per day. I examined over 100 different channels and categorized them based on how much they upload per week. 0.5 for anything less than once per week, one for once a week, three for two to five videos per week, seven for daily, eight for the occasional twice a day upload, and nine for more than two uploads per day. The data is pretty clear. Upon looking at the average monthly views channels have, there is a positive positive correlation between upload frequency and views. The more a channel uploads, the more views they get. Okay, so for the most part, it is so difficult for an individual to upload multiple times per day, let alone daily. So what I found in the data is that most of the people who upload multiple times a day are corporations. I'd actually ignore this eight right here because this is one channel. It's Philip DeFranco's channel and he occasionally uploads two videos per day. And I classified him as an eight because it's nowhere near someone like Buzz feed would upload, who uploads at least almost three times a day or even four. When we remove corporations from the equation, we still see the same trend. Quantity still seems to be correlated with monthly views. Moving on to quality. Quality is a little more complex to define, since in general, quality is subjective. In a broad sense, the quality strategy is best described as, if you only upload your best content, you are more likely to grow. There's an obvious flaw to that definition, since your best content has different meanings to different people. To standardize the definition for the purposes of this video, I've broken quality down into three different criteria. Storyline, production value, and amount of time spent on the video. Story Storyline is the general plot of the video. How can one efficiently deliver his or her ideas and how interesting the topic is to their niche? Production value is the technical qualities in the video. Camera equipment, editing, lighting, etc. Amount of time spent on the video is exactly how it sounds. Now, this doesn't mean spending two hours figuring out how your camera works will add quality to the video. It's more of spending one hour of research on a video versus two hours. The creator can score a possible of three points for each criterion. So a channel can get zero to nine points on their quality score. And quality has nothing to do with whether or not I like the actual content of that creator. Let's look at Emma Chamberlain, for instance. Storyline. Is she delivering her ideas efficiently in the eyes of her audience? Is it interesting to her audience? Is it being delivered in a way only unique to her? With that, for storyline, Emma gets two out of three points. For production value, she shoots and edits pretty raw and standard. She uses a DSLR and sometimes shoots on location, but there isn't anything too complex such as color grading or B-roll. So two out of three points. For time spent, her videos don't require any research and many can be produced fast because they're based on personal experience. So one out of three points. For a total quality score of five out of nine. Just to get the facts straight, this doesn't mean I hate Emma Chamberlain's content, but with that, you can really see how hard it was to operationally define what quality means. And for the purposes of this video, like I said, we have to do that. So I guess I kind of just took the things that in general people think what quality means. So you know, that's obviously the storyline, production value, time spent on a video, and it's not a perfect definition, but Again, to figure out if quantity versus quality is better for growing your YouTube channel, we had to define what quality means. In the last 30 days, the channels with the highest quality score seem to dominate the lower scoring creators by a mile. Interestingly enough though, the second most viewed creators are those who scored the lowest on quality. No pattern seems to emerge from then forward. When we remove corporations from the equation, those scoring the lowest are actually in the lead when it comes to monthly viewership. 
So when excluding corporations, quality doesn't seem to affect how many views one gets. Woo. It is not looking good for the quality camp. Um, and this is coming from someone who does not have a consistent upload schedule. If you know my upload schedule, it is so bad. It is like, sometimes I go three weeks without uploading a video and I'm really on that quality grind. So am I saying that we should, including myself, highlight quantity over quality? No. According to the data, if you want a higher viewership, you should prioritize quantity over quality. Unless you are a corporation that can pump out quality videos often, it may not be worth it to take your time on a video if your goal is growth. Sure, there are successful one-hit wonders that blast someone's career to the moon, but that's rare. Additionally, it's impossible for an individual or even a small team to produce videos as fast and as high of a quality these big companies can accomplish. Algorithmically, this is just the reality of how YouTube works. However, don't throw quality out the window just yet. In a poll I conducted on my community post, I asked, in general, how often does your favorite YouTuber upload? Over 3.4 thousand of you answered. 58% of you stated one to two times per week. The lowest scoring was daily or multiple times per day. So this shows that viewers actually appreciate when creators take their time on a video. While this doesn't mean that creators who upload one to two times per week produce quality content, it exemplifies audience dedication isn't dependent on the frequency of how much someone uploads. In other words, views aren't everything. You have to take into consideration audience dedication. Take for example, the Instagram model who couldn't sell 36 shirts. She had over 2.6 million followers and her likes ranged from 30 30,000 to 100,000. She has a good amount of views, but very low audience dedication. Pewds video quality. Okay, here we go again. Mars has video quality. This meme is never gonna die, isn't it? Here I have the perfect quality and people still complain. Shaking my head. The genre of channels that seem to find the perfect balance between quantity and quality are news slash commentary channels. By far, they seem to be the fastest growing channels on the platform with an average quality score of 6.6. .6. Now, it isn't a coincidence that the lowest quality score these YouTubers have is a 5. The data suggests that there's still a minimum threshold of quality creators must meet in order for viewers to like them. You can't just upload low quality videos frequently, hoping you'll hit the jackpot. And guess what? There are less expensive ways than buying a new camera to improve your quality, such as improving your skills. You can do that today with our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. When I was starting my YouTube, I do think I had a leg up on most people because I took a few film classes and I learned the basics of editing and cinematography. Personally, right now, I'm looking into the more business side, so I'm looking at a few classes in that direction. Skillshare is really cool because you can learn all that for a much cheaper price than traditional classes. Lucky for you guys, Skillshare is giving away a free two-month unlimited access trial. Click the link in the description box below, and after that, it's only around $10 a month. Whether you want to build your career or just fuel your creativity, Skillshare is the perfect place to continue learning and thriving. Now there are obvious limitations to this study, one being that my data set was not big enough, which I had the manpower coffee break had with his video, but uh, it was just me doing this and also with the quality score, it was just me rating these channels. If you were to do this study for reals, it would take multiple judges to do the quality score. Although I did find positive correlations for the numbers, I did not perform a t-test, so whether those numbers are statistically significant or not, I don't know. Stats majors or psych majors who are into research methods, do your job. So the conclusion of this video is basically quantity and quality are very important. Quantity is important for the algorithm's sake. That's just the harsh reality of YouTube. Don't wait for perfection of a video. It's never going to be perfect in terms of the way that you want it. There's always gonna be something you're gonna notice. I'm bad at it, so I gotta take this advice too, but I'm gonna try to upload twice a week. I said that last time and then I stopped and you can actually see in my statistics how bad my views went down and how bad my subscriptions went down. But I can't ignore quality either because when I did upload twice a week, 
successfully. Yes, my numbers did go up, but also a lot of you did not like the very basic videos just like this one and it sucked because my numbers and stuff were going up and uh, I don't know, I'm still figuring out things to trying my best as Jarvis Johnson always says. This balance is just gonna continue to be a struggle to find for me and I know for you too. That's the end of the video. I will see you guys next time. Stay psyched.